hey y'all, I just got a quick message for you since this is the day for me to do some more, right? So my thoughts of the day are, if you're a picky eater and you are an adult, you are very immature, um, you're ungrateful, and you need to grow up, you eat what you can get, uh, if you go somewhere, so, so first off, if you're a picky eater, you either didn't grow up in poverty, or you just have no appreciation for the things you have, because, I don't know, maybe you were a spoiled kid, or your parents never made you do anything as a kid, I don't know, but, like, my point is, if you're an adult, and you have, and you are a picky eater, then you need to grow up, you need to cut your shit, you need to learn, and figure out, do I like these things? Okay, do I not like these things? Because either I know for a fact I've had them, and I didn't like them. Because I don't know, if you try something and genuinely don't like something, um, that's one thing. But what I'm not talking about with picky eaters are people who are, like, allergic to certain things, or they abstain from things for religious reasons. But the truth is, if you if you can't tell me why in words with words words what you don't like about something other than oh i just don't like it fuck out of here with that shit and fucking eat the food and shut the fuck up thank you but yeah so you know the other thing too is it's stupid just try it don't sit there and be like oh you know I just don't like it. No, you, why? Why don't you? Do, does it give you the shits? Does it, uh, does it give you problems? Is it something that violates you, your, your religious beliefs? Those are valid reasons. But if it's literally because you know you've not had it, like I've heard of people that talk to people, oh, I just don't like sushi. Well, why don't you like sushi? Does it taste bad? Did you have sushi that made you sick? Do you have a bad memory? No, it's just raw fish and I don't like it. Fuck you, little kid. Grow up.